When you go to the toilet, the last thing you want is someone gawping at your um, Google. But what if they were wearing Google Glass and broadcasting your bathroom break to everyone online? This is just one of the many questions raised in this hilarious Google Glass do's and don'ts video by news website Mashable. But there are serious underlying concerns regarding privacy and the search giant's wearable computer. Etiquette expert Thomas P. Farley, who's currently working on a book of tech etiquette, says glass could potentially be very intrusive. There are also big issues of privacy. So the fact that you can be recording and photographing things without people realizing it presents all sorts of ethical issues for the people in your surroundings. I think there's a lot of curiosity right now about Google Glass. Obviously, it's in its initial rollout, so not many people have it. We don't see it out on the street yet but people know it's coming. So there's a lot of curiosity about how to act both as the wearer, but also for the person who's in the presence of the wearer. And it's not just members of the public with concerns. Eight members of US Congress's bipartisan privacy caucus have written to Google's chief executive, Larry Page, voicing their own questions about the privacy issues. Google is set to make Glass available to software developers this year before launching sometime in 2014. And they've already said they will pre-approve apps for Glass, unlike the more open Android smartphone and tablet markets. But will it be enough to stop Glass being a window into people's private lives? Or will Google give us the ability to close the curtains? It's beautiful.